Hello everyone, my name is Maria, I'm the founder of Bangkok Soap Opera. Today I am welcoming you to video on DIY Aroma Candle Natural Kit. We are actually producers of natural soap and beauty care for more than 7 years in Bangkok, having our stores in Bangkok, in Sukhumvit and in Terminal 21. Our journey with natural candle making started about three years ago when we got a request from our coming back customer looking for truly natural, vegan, sustainable candles with aromatherapy effect. So we started the production. The candles that we like producing in our store are always mason jar, 100% soy wax with pure essential oils. These candles are not only a cute decoration, a cozy way to treat your home, but also have strong aromatherapy effect, all due to natural essential oils. All the scents we produce have a similar or different impact on your nerve system, on your mood. We produce six types of aroma candles. Rose, lavender, cinnamon orange, vanilla, and green tea and mint. All of these amazing candles have their own impact on your mood, on the nerve system and the atmosphere of your home. You can choose what is the best for you. We have created DIY aroma candle kits especially for those who would like to have full hands-on experience. We have made this kit especially for those who would like to learn new skills at their own home. This DIY kit is designed for everyone who would like to join our workshops but live far away from Bangkok. Now there is a solution. You order the DIY kit and you got all the ingredients and tools to create beautiful two natural aroma mason jar candles. In every DIY candle kit you will have all the needed ingredients to create the chosen product. I'm opening an aroma DIY candle kit to show you what's inside. This kit has a seven tips on how to burn the candle safety. This is important thing for us because we would like to aim you to learn a new skill and enjoy burning of the candle safely. Also, you will get on the bottom and in DIY Aroma Candle Kit instruction, a full step-by-step -step tutorial for you to create your natural candles at your own home. Then, when you open the kit, you will get two lovely mason jars. Each of them will have inside a wooden wick and a rope with a cute tag which says, light me up. The tag can be put over the jar like this when the candle is already fully made. The wooden wick comes with a stabilizer or connector. This is the heavy part of the wick that will help stabilize it inside the mason jar. You will have two sets this in the box. Next you will find the main ingredient of our DIY kit which is called soy wax 200 grams. This is more than enough to create two candles so more likely you will get nexus that can be later turned in another candle. You will get gloves safety gloves to keep you safe during the process. You will get this cute wooden mixing stick which will be very convenient to mix in the essential oils inside the mason jars. And of course you will get the DIY dry flowers. Inside this box you will have rose, cinnamon, lemongrass, kaffir lime, bale, star anise and even basilisk. And of course one of the most important parts of DIY aroma candle kit is your choice of natural essential oil. You will get essential oil enough to produce over four candles. So please don't worry, you can enjoy the strength of the smell you like. Before ordering the DIY kit, you can choose your favorite smell. Cinnamon orange, vanilla, lavender, rose, jasmine, green tea, and our new smell, coffee. All of them are pure essential oils that bring this aromatherapeutic effect while burning the candle. In this cute bag, which has a tag, dry flowers, is basically our future decoration for natural candles. I would like to show it to you so you can prepare accordingly. I will take a little bowl and pour them in and show you one by one so you can get a better understanding of what you can use to make your candles very special. Here I have two pieces 
of bale fruit. Bale fruit is believed to be an apple family, but it looks like an orange, a very cute but big decoration for your natural candles. There will be two stars of star anise, very cute and even gorgeous for any scent of candle you choose. There will be two sticks of cinnamon, cozy, energizing. There will be five rosebuds, just enough to make beautiful and delicate candles. There will be chrysanthemums and even coffee seeds. And there is tiny little purple flowers, which is a beautiful lavender that grows in north of Thailand. All of this is made for one reason, to cover the top of your candle after it cooled down for a special touch. I would like to also unpack the soy wax to show you how the main ingredient of our natural candle making look like. This is the main ingredient of any candle making wax. For this DIY kit we have chosen for you the most sustainable and local natural and vegan choice, soy wax flakes. So I'm taking a bowl and I will pour it to it for my own convenience. And this will be actually the bowl that will be later on used for melting the soy wax. At this moment, I would like to share with you options you have to store the wax before candle making. One of the most professional ways would have stainless steel bowl. You need to be sure that stainless steel bowl doesn't have any aluminum in it. Other option could be stainless steel molds for baking. They are also very convenient the soy wax in such mold can be heated up on direct cooker or on double boiler, but never in microwave. If your choice will be to melt the wax in the microwave, you would probably need some plastic jar, which is suitable for microwave. You can melt the wax in small bursts, 30 seconds at a time, until it softly melts. While melting, we need to be sure of two things the quality of the balls we use and the temperature we melt the wax. Soy wax is a soft wax that melts at the temperature of 49 degrees, so make sure not to overheat it. The first step in DIY natural candle making is actually the melting of soy wax. Soy wax is a soft wax, but it's still in solid form at room temperature. If I touch or blend in my hands the petals, you will feel like quickly they start to melt. But to make a natural candle, we need to be sure we melt the wax into fully liquid form. For this, you need to choose the way how to heat it up. Like I mentioned before, there are a couple of options. Use heat like a hot plate or a stove. It can be also heated up in microwave or the oven. For me today, I'm choosing the hot plate like a most easy and the way I'm just used to in our production process. We wouldn't recommend you to put the soy wax directly on the cooker. For this reason, it can heat up or even bring the wax to boil, which is really dangerous to us. Why? Because in next steps, we plan to use essential oils that are very delicate to the change of temperature. So my recommendation would be to take additional bowl, put it on the cooker and use some water to create a double boiler. So I'm pouring the water in and switching the cooker on and only then placing my wax into it so I'm sure that on double boiler I will melt the soy wax but never bring it to boil, to steam, to bring fumes or make it too hot. So my choice is double boiler for today. While our soy wax is melting on the double boiler right here, right now, I would like to share with you the different characteristics of types of natural waxes, how to treat them, how to melt them and what type of candles you can create from them. Because basically, choosing the main ingredient, you choose the type of candle you can make. I will start with, of course, our favorite, the soy wax. Soy wax, the same as in your DIY kit, looks like milky or ivory shade soft flakes. 
the main characteristics of the soy wax is actually its softness. It's believed to be a soft wax. What does it mean for the first time candle maker? It means that we can only make container candles or mason jars using this type of wax. It means you cannot make self-standing or pillar candles, but you can make this cute type of mason jars or container candles. Soy wax is made of refined soybean oil, which means it's 100% local to Thailand. It will mean that you will also support the local farming and cut on carbon print. You are not shipping the ingredient from overseas, you are taking it easily and locally. Soy wax has this soft milky smell like freshly made soy milk. Some people love it, some people not, but please don't worry, the scent will evaporate when you start using essential oils in your candle making process. The soy wax is 100% vegan, so if you are a member of vegan community or you have a friend, you will need to know how to make soy wax candles. The main characteristic of it is low melting point, which means we do not need to boil it, to heat it too strong, to turn it into the liquid form. The liquid form is the moment when we pour it into the future containers. The soy wax melts at 49 degrees. This is quite low and it's highly important for our aroma candle production. Why? Due to usage of essential oils. Essential oils are herbal or flower or spice extracts that are being extracted by the method of distilling. This Essential oils are not only fragrances to our candles, but they fill it with a variety of benefits. Essential oils are prone to evaporation. Even if you leave the jar open, you can lose the part of benefits and strength of the smell. So in case you overheat the wax or its melting point is too high, essential oils will evaporate and it just doesn't have any sense. That's why this combination, soy wax plus essential oil is perfect. Essential oils are stable at temperature of 49 degrees, they are not evaporating, so you can safely infuse your candle with it and have a beautiful smell and beautiful impact on your nerve system. The soy wax candle is extremely soft burning and easily meltable. What does it mean? When you make a candle out of soy wax, if you have a look at it, the top layer of wax will melt quickly, but it's not burning quickly. The burning time of soy wax is very long, which makes soy wax candles to be long burning time candles. Another unique fact of soy wax is probably you don't expect. While making a regular aroma candle, you're also making a massage candle. You can take off your gloves and make a little experiment. Take a couple of flakes of soy wax and start rubbing in your hands. Very quickly it melts, creating a greasy, lovely, buttery layer on your skin. So when your candle is melted, you can do like I'm doing now, turn it into the massage candle. Pour a little bit of wax, massaging your hands and rub into your hands or elbows or even into your feet. So today you're not making only a aroma candle, but a real massage candle too. So the soy wax will be soon fully melted. And now I would like to present to you a different type of wax. Our soy wax will be fully melted in literally a couple of minutes. In the meantime, I would like to share with you about one of the most famous waxes used in candle making, but getting less popular these days due to less sustainable part of its production. This is refined beeswax. When you look at this jar in my hands, you think, oh, the beeswax, is it always really so wide? And I can tell you, that's not how the raw wax looks like. The raw beeswax looks like a caramel brown brick. It's very solid and hard to break into pieces. This is unrefined, uncleaned beeswax that comes directly from the bees farm. So we can already know that beeswax is not a vegan ingredient. For centuries, humans were using bees wax as candle making material, natural and local. Depending on the flowers that are used to nourish the bees, the color of the 
honey and the color of the future beeswax will may differ from dark yellow to brown to milky one. The one that you can find in Bangkok is dark caramel shade, but it also has a strong propolis honey smell. I'm the one who love it a lot, but at the workshops we try to avoid usage of raw beeswax for only one reason, the smell doesn't really go well with natural essential oils. When you cool down the candle and lit it up, the smell of beeswax will be quite strong. We all know that beeswax is highly beneficial due to leftover of pollen, of honey food, and of course of propolis. So if you are looking to create a candle that will detox the air from bacteria, the pure beeswax unrefined candle is the way to go. The beeswax is a very solid wax. No matter how well I rub it, no matter how long I hold in my warm hands, it will never break, it will never melt. It's solid as stone, which means that you can make any type of candle you would like from it. Self-standing and long, pillar, teacup, anything your imagination can create can be done from natural beeswax. The only problem with it that it's so solid that the melting point is quite high. The melting point of beeswax is over 55 degree, which means part of essential oils added to it will be destroyed, evaporated by the high temperature. The beeswax, the one that I'm holding now, is refined, which means cleaned out. So when it's cleaned out, it can be the same solid, the same long time burning in candles, but white color and fully unscented. The beeswax can become a good substitute to other waxes, extremely solid and sustainable. The only thing, it's not the vegan option. But if you will decide to use beeswax the same, you can use the instruction that we have in DIY kit and just switch from soy to bees. You can choose, you can try and decide for yourself. So I will now check the soy wax and it seems like to be fully melted, which means we are ready to pour our candles. I will slightly move the cooker so I have a bit more space to show you everything. The candles are nearly ready to be poured. What we need to do is open the jars, take out the tags, we will need them much later and take out the wicks. The wicks can be wooden, can be raw, it all depends on your choice. And I will share my opinion, my view on this question, how to choose the best ever wick. For now, we need to empty the jars. So what I will do now, I will take the wax and pour it inside the jars. I'm aiming to pour until this line so I will have space for decoration on top and the wick and then I can still seal the jar. I like sealing the jars to keep the essential oil fragrance inside the candle for a longer period of time. You can see that I have still some leftovers and this wax can be used to top the candle or make a new one. So probably you are surprised I'm not putting the wicks right away into the jar. I'm choosing the essential oil of my favorite for today. For today, I'm planning to go lavender and I'm pouring um, 35 drops of lavender EO into the jar. Mm -hmm. This one is done and I'm also taking Probably I'll use the same beautiful lavender for the next one. 35 drops for one jar. And I'm doing it on purpose. I first melt the wax and let it be poured into the jars to let it slightly cool down to be sure that I'm not destroying my lovely essential oils. Then I will take a wooden stick and slightly mix in the essential oil. The sides of the jar already start to become more milky white, which means the wax is soon to harden, which is truly great news for me. 
If you're in a hurry, you could take the candles at that point and put them into the fridge, not the freezer, please. But basically, it's only needed when you are really short in time. For myself, I prefer to keep them on here in front of us and then watch it to cool down slowly. Putting the candles in a fridge means that you'll need to check on it more often. This quick, speedy change from warm to cold temperature will crystallize the wax too strongly, which means it can create a wavy topping or even holes near the wick, which I would do my best to avoid. So have a look at it. The candles are starting to cool down. When I see that the sides turned out to be more milky, that's the point when I can put the wick in. I stabilize the wicks in the middle. The bottom of the candle has already made the wax solidified and sticky, so I don't need an additional sticker on the bottom to stick the wick. I'm just doing it manually. I stabilize it, I look at it, and if everything is all right, we are good just to wait for the decoration to top our candle. While our cute mason jar aroma soy wax candles are cooling down, it's a perfect moment to explain to you the benefits of wooden wicks. Actually, for more than three years, we were producing our candles uh, using the wicks we made ourselves from the uncolored, undyed natural robes. But through the years, we have faced many issues that come with the usage of the rope. The rope is quite a so soft material. It's not prone to self-staining, which means we need to coat it in the wax. I have a little bit of melted wax here, so I'm just mixing it in like this, coating it, soaking it, and then I will just cover it nicely with the soft wax and put it aside to cool down. When it's fully cool, we can straighten it up and use it as a regular wick. So coating the rope with wax makes it burn very well. But the problem is, like you can see in this jar, the layer of wax that melts with the time can be even full, which means the layer of wax that coats the rope wick will also melt, which means that it can fall. And when the wick is prone to falling in the candle, it can provoke that the flame touches the sides of the jar and the jar can even explode. This is one of the most dramatic problems we were facing with the rope wicks. The only real way how to handle it is not to let the natural rope candle burn over two hours and also always trim the wick before burning. You cannot light up the wick if it's two, three, five centimeters over the layer of the wax. You can only keep it half centimeter. This is the size of the wick, which is safe to burn in this mason jar candles. But about five months ago, we tried our hand on wooden wick and we probably are never going back. The wooden wick is the most safest alternative I know. Number one, it's stable by itself. No matter what I do, it will not move or bend. Having an additional stabilizer, a metal part of the wick like you had, also makes it stable on the bottom of the jar. Even the soft wax I'm moving, the wick is not moving anymore. An interesting fact that wooden wicks do not require trimming. So when I light it up, even if my wick is so tall that it sticks out of the jar, it will burn just one half centimeters until the surface. That's how the perfect wick works. The flame is always stable, middle size, which means it never will be too big to crash to crack the glass jar which surrounds the candle. So I'm a hugely uh, passionate and hugely believing that wooden wicks is our future in natural and safe candle making at your own home. But in case you want to have fun, you can use the leftovers of wax like I did and coat the rope. Look, it's already very solid and now I made it straight so I can cut it and use it as two, three weeks for my future candles. So even the rope can turn, be turned into the natural wick. There are simple tips how to know if the candle is ready for decoration. I classically wait for the candle wax to create 
a crust on top. It looks like ice and even if inside is still fluid, it can be a perfect moment to put in the decoration. We have done natural soy wax DIY candles at our own homes. We now have these lovely cute mason jar candles with a beautiful lavender scent based on pure essential oils. One candle, after lighting it up, will burn for about 12 hours. I think it's a truly great result. My candles I have created will be highly relaxing. They are perfect to burn before going to sleep or during dinner time. But if you are looking for energizing, activating your mind work, you should probably choose lemongrass or mint. To learn more about the essential oil choices for our DIY kit, check step-by-step -step instruction. It has details on all the scents available. You can choose the essential oil to highlight your own style, your own beauty, and bring that special atmosphere to your own home. Be sure to check in the instruction the safety rules of using the tools of keeping yourself safe. We would like you also to check seven tips of safe candle burning. Candles are amazing, but please be careful and never leave the candle alone when you leave the room. These candles are safe to be burned in the room with kids, with grown-ups. It's safe for everyone who is 1 to 101. Soy wax candles are sustainable, vegan, green, and the best part, long-lasting. I hope this DIY kit tutorial was useful for you, and now you know how to create your most favorite candles.